Hi everyone, I'm Callie. Welcome back into the channel for another episode of God of War Ascension. In the last episode, Kratos fought his way through the Temple of Delphi and was met with a pretty epic battle between Castor and Pollux. I didn't realize that his name was Pollux until I dove deeper into who we were actually fighting at that time. And it's pretty interesting going into the lore behind Castor and Pollux. Castor is actually a Greek mortal and his Voldemort sidekick is Pollux and he's actually a demigod and also a son of Zeus, making him a sort of brother to Kratos. It's kind of crazy how every time I feel like we're fighting somebody or murdering somebody, they end up being related to Kratos in some way, some form. But these Gemini twins actually ended up taking over the temple of Delphi and left Aletheia there to pretty much suffer and die. Kratos was able to get a final bit of truth from Aletheia before she went. We finally found out that Orcos and Aletheia are actually working together and lovers in the lore. And that's why Aletheia was very quick to tell Kratos immediately what he had to do to release the bonds of Ares escape the grasp of the Furies and also find her all-seeing eyes that were taken from her by the Furies. So I'm excited now to travel with Kratos to Delos where Aletheia told us to go on our next journey to try to break the bonds from Ares and see what happens there. All right, I think we have some red orbs. So before we go through these gates, I always press the wrong menu button. I want to upgrade... Actually, maybe we should wait until we upgrade Blades of Chaos all the way. I was thinking about putting it into Ice of Poseidon. I mean, it's 1750 orbs. I think we should wait and just focus on getting Blades of Chaos all the way up today to the maximum so that we can start focusing on getting magic attacks for each of these. Looks like there's also an upgrade for the amulet too. Increased area of effect and decreased cooldown time. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that one too. This will probably be like a later one. I'm not really going to focus on it now. It's 5k orbs, so it's nothing crazy. But I would like to get some more of these upgraded before I start working on anything else. But let's get Blades of Chaos all the way and then we'll see what happens. Which one I like the most. I feel like right now focusing on Poseidon, L2, and then Square. Okay. L2, Square. Ah, interesting. We need to get these guys with shields out. <laughs> All right, let's do fire. The amulet has such a huge cooldown time. Oh, the guys with shields can't. Okay, they're not affected. All right, we'll try to use it on the next guy once the cooldown is done. the shield needs to go. Now we can yank his shield off. And then let's do this like L2 square thing. It's pretty cool. It just like stuns them. It stuns them and it puts them in the air. <laughs> They're trapped in time for a little bit. The cooldown is so slow, though. I can see why upgrading it to the max would probably be better. Hold L2 to activate. Okay.
Those statues are crazy. Okay, I'm trapped in here. With the lightning boob again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so can I use this on her? Yes, let's go. Waiting for that cooldown. Oh, I'm stunned. Go. Okay, it's back. Oh, jeez. Okay. What? Why didn't it work? There we go. I didn't really stun her that time. Nice. All right. I like the amulet. I like the stun on there. I just have to watch for the cooldown because it's so slow. Oh, I have to hold it, my bad. Okay, we got some chests down at the end there. The cistern. Oh, we were we're back in this one room. With that big bull head. Gorgon Eye. All right, so I think we just go down this way. I remember getting up this way. That sounds bad. Hello? one guy. Oh, I froze the dog by accident. timing on my part. <laughs> we can, nice. about the legs getting cut off of that one. 
Oh, the hallway full of all the chests that we saw. I feel like there was like two or maybe even three in this hallway. I remember there being quite a few. Just make sure there's nothing in here before we leave. All right, so let's try to repair this. Yeah, there's another one here. Oop. painting so i did actually look this up because i was curious and i didn't think that we were going to come back this way but it's an easter egg for god of war 4 um so i'll show you guys how to do it because i actually looked it up i was curious but you have to do r um you have to hold down r1 i think or maybe it's l1 no 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 it's yeah it's r1 okay so first one is sun Sun. Uh, I'm trying to remember. I think it was sun, bird, which this one is apparently bird. Bull, which is all the way over here. And then lion in the middle and then back to sun. And if I did it right, it should unlock the Easter egg for us, which I'm excited to see. Okay, it, it worked. See, when the earth stops, the journey begins. This is an awesome painting, and it's also very ominous. Um, I don't know much about God of War 4. I am playing these completely blind, so I'm not sure how different it is, but I've heard that it is very, very different than the other God of War games. But this is an awesome little Easter egg for it. I just thought it was a really cool and interesting painting to put into such an... I don't know. The art in this game is so classic. And then to see this, it's just very, very interesting. But when the earth stops, the journey begins. Very cool. Because I think that the Kratos in 2018 is much, much older than the Kratos that we have been playing in these games. I'm glad I was able to come back to this room and try it for myself. All right. Oh, okay. Whoa, he's fast. Can I stun him? Ooh, I can. Oops. So are these like little, um, they're stunning me, these little beetles. All right, let's try to stun him again. I wanted to try to get one of these beetles and throw it at him to like explode it on him, but I don't think that's working. Yeah, not really. He's just angry. Oh, I didn't mean to do the bug. Let's try to stun him again. There we go. Oh, geez. All right, stun. My movements are so slow today. I think I'm having like a... 
a brain day or something. Slow brain day. Alright, that wasn't too bad. These bugs are annoying. All right, so we can repair that bridge that got broken. Is there anything over here? Oh, there's another chest. How many orbs do we have now? Four, five uh, K, jeez. I kind of like that they're stingy on orbs in this game. It doesn't make it feel like I'm constantly doing upgrades. forgetting I have to press that and hold it. There we go. I'm trying to remember if there were chests that were broken down below. But I can't remember. And I would have to break the bridge again. Is it worth checking? I can't remember. I remember there was a non-broken one in the house area. Can I decay this? No. I feel like I'm missing out on some chests down in that area. I was honestly just too lazy to do the bridge decay <laughs> and make it better again. Okay. That was the child, yeah. Woman and the child that died of thirst and the door being blocked by a cave-in. So I wonder if we can repair this door? No. Oh! Um, maybe I'm just supposed to like not stay on it. Okay. Back to the Wheel of Fortune. Definitely need some repairs. Okay, so let's see if I can activate it from here because it told me. to maybe I do have to be closer all right so let's heal nice can I run up this Nope, we got to use the lever. I don't think we need this health chest. Oh, there's another chest back behind here. Oh, there's two. All right, so let's pull the lever and see what happens. I think that blue one went all the way to the top, so... Or maybe the red? There's no way we're gonna make the blue in time. Wait, why is it staying? 
Oh, it gives you time. That's nice. It was the blue one though, right? Yeah, okay. I was right. It was the blue one that went all the way to the top. Dang. All right, so we need to make it all the way to the blue one. Can I reach that one without... Yeah, I should be able to jump to that one, right? Oh, maybe not. How am I supposed to get to that one? Hmm, it's telling me to hold L2. I guess maybe I would like decay it after bringing it all the way back and then repair. Uh, let's try. It's telling me L2 for a reason. I noticed the prompt is coming up as soon as we reach maximum height. All right. So let's go ahead and try to break it again. Can I break something over here? I'm glowing, so it has to be something over here. <laughs> I noticed that he glows when you can do something nearby. Okay. Interesting. It's only highlighted when I'm up here. Right, it's focusing on that big one like a lot. Hold L2 at stop points to suspend objects. Oh. Okay. Well, let's see what happens with that being suspended. This is very interesting. I see. It wanted me to stop it there so that I could get up. Okay. Well, that was a little bit confusing. Okay. So we're going to obviously repair that. So I can climb up here. and then repair it so that it keeps going. Okay. Interesting puzzle. I'm not sure how I feel about the heal and decay stuff. I think it's pretty cool, but it's also a lot. <laughs> All right, let's heal this bridge. the water candy man so we got the water working back in the city am i supposed to jump off oh i can't move right now okay we're going under <laughs> oh 
Okay, so now we're gonna do some swimming. The grotto. Hold to dive, surface. Okay. Is that lava? Oh! A I was like, what's down this way? Nice. Curiosity pays off sometimes. <laughs> but I feel like it also makes me more prone to having bugs happen in games. Because I am trying to explore areas sometimes that are unexplorable. And the game's like, why are you over here? Get back into the game. But that was a good exploration. Okay. Most of the times if a game lets you go somewhere, there's a reason why it's letting you go that way. That's why you're always going to see me like pressing on the edges of the map. Like how far am I allowed to go? Okay, so there's a tunnel that way, but there's also this little hole here. I think we can get in there. Yeah. Anything above? Nope. Can we surface here? No. I'm glad we can hold our breath underwater forever. There's nothing more frustrating than games where you have to be underwater for a significant amount of time and you have that like bubble ticking down. So stressful. Oh my God. Oh my god. Great. Can I stun him? Watch out. Nice. Watch out, Kratos. Nope, the stun cooldown. aiming at so when he's enraged like that i cannot hit him i was looking at my gameplay from these guys the last time and it wasn't because of anything they were just like enraged so i couldn't hit them at that time which was annoying but yeah he's enraged again so let's stay away from him for a little bit It's such a slow cooldown. <laughs> nice, let's get him. Let's go. He's enraged. Let's just let him be for a second. <laughs> I think the cooldown is ready too. Nice. Oh, wrong button. Dang. Unfortunate. So much easier now that I know what they are doing. I thought I was supposed to have a certain element, but when they're enraged like that, you pretty much just have to leave them be. 
It is nice now now that we have the amulet of Oribos to stun those guys though. Hold L2. I'm trying. <laughs> oh, the chain, okay. He's like yelling at me. Okay. So let's break this side too. Is there more we have to do? Heal? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so there is a hole underwater. in here. Can we like break through stuff? I'm trying to remember what the buttons were. Since they haven't told us, I guess we can't do that yet. Um, there's a tunnel there, but there's also some light coming through. We can't go to the light, so let's just keep going. down more which is interesting but what was up <gasps> that scared me Boat Captain's Idol. Oh, Boat Captain! An image carved, a presided, meant to offer protection at sea. Beat the game to use this item. I was thinking back to like Boat Captain from God of War 1, but maybe it's not a callback to him. Oh, that's how we can slam forward. Okay. So I wonder, oh, I need to stop hitting that. Okay. I'm going to go back and check something real quick. Okay, we can't break through there. All right. Never mind. down there no just a gate over there nothing that way okay chest are there other chests this way Look at the reflection that the water is giving the stones. All right, let's get blue. So we're doing okay on health. Can't go anywhere else in this cave. Uh-oh.
creepy cave. Where are we? Oh, the harbor of Kira. Hey, there's a there's people on the boat. Guess we can just destroy some of their merch. <laughs> if it gives us orbs. Oh. <gasps> Who's that in the water? Whoa. I kind of want to see what... I mean, there's a red chest over there, but I want to see what opened down here. I feel like there's a lot going on in this area. A letter to a sailor's wife. I long to return to you and our son. Since the attack and the aqueduct's destruction, safe passage to Kira has been difficult. I hope you are well. One more Gorgon Eye. Okay, let's see if there's anything over here. What is this? I wasn't ready to leave. Hopefully... It's Orcos. Only a coward hides himself, Orcos. You know I'm one of the Furies who forged your bond. You would have killed me before I could even speak. Then tell me, what has brought you to this betrayal of your own kind? It was you. The injustice of your oath that made me doubt them. Is it possible that through all your suffering you still do not understand why you were chosen? Why Ares needed you? Why he still needs you? Speak clearly. No, oh, Kratos. The god of war has been plotting for years. I was brought forth by the joining of the war god and the Fury Queen. In rage and insanity, Ares hoped to conceive the perfect warrior. But I was only a disappointment to him. It was my mothers who spared me. They gave me the task of keeping the oaths. Although my burden was great, I was determined to be of service to those who said they loved me. But it was you, Kratos. It was the final task of your bond that made me question the actions of my family. sought counsel with Aletheia. It was she who revealed to me the plot of Ares to overthrow Zeus. But he needed the perfect warrior. Ares molded you to take down the very walls of Olympus. Ares, destroy my enemies! And my life is yours! To make you beholden only to him, Ares and my mothers devised three blood tasks. Spill the blood of your enemies. The blood of the innocent. The blood of your very... The past is the past, Orcos. Past you now seek to rectify. And I will do so without the aid of a few. Wow, that was a lot. We've been doing everything that these gods have set out for us to achieve and do. Well, we missed out on those red chests back there. Seemed like there was a lot. Kratos looked upon the gym. 
He realized all he need do was fight the forces that gnawed at his mind. His thoughts now clear. The warrior turned his rage to the remaining Furies and their ultimate defeat. All right, so we're back here in the present day. Wow, what a plot twist. Oh, it's on cooldown, okay. Person. Wanted to get the dog. That's okay. We'll wait for the cooldown. Jeez. ground right as I used it. Dang. Okay, let's get him down. to repairing this. That's right, because we can heal all the stuff that they destroyed when they brought Hecatitis or Hecaronicus back. I think it's Hecaronicus. That sounds, that sounds really wrong. I don't think it's Hecaronicus now. Hecaronchias? Hecaronchias? <laughs> Record from the scribe of Hecatonker Hecatonkeries, that's what it is. Hecaronicus? I'm slipping into their madness. Ares has sought counsel with the Fury Electo. So heartless they are to think their own son. The pain of Orcos echoes in my chamber. I'm slipping into their madness. Ares sought counsel with the Fury. So heartless they are to their own son. The pain of Orcos. Yeah. So Orcos has been through a lot. He is definitely now on our side, which is interesting because he saw something in Kratos and his story that made him want to turn against his own people, which I feel like that happens a lot with the people that help out Kronos. And I said it last episode, but he is always a pawn in someone else's bigger game. So I wonder what Orcos's bigger game is other than obviously getting away from his pain and suffering that his family puts him through. 
But is there something more here or are we just kind of trying to help each other out? I think it's interesting that Kratos always seems to have these these people come to him and see something in him. He's just such a powerful guy. Nice. So our health is all the way maxed out now. I feel like that was quick. Are we seeing things again? I think we're having another illusion. I have watched you over the years. When you were just a boy, I saw the signs. Even the loss of your brother did not sway your focus. The tragedy only improved you. You honed your skills. And now, Kratos, you have fulfilled your promise of greatness. You served with honor. You brought glory to us all. And today, you have earned your place among us as the greatest general Sparta has ever known. So, there is something you value more than ambition. Hmm. Well, she's on to him now. This lady and her visions. Okay, we don't need any help. Did we come from this way or? Oh, I think we came into this door. Yeah, we came into that door. Orcos's cloak, worn by Orcos when he was tortured and imprisoned for going against his mother with the Oracle Aletheia. Beat the game to use this item. Uh oh. Oh my. Goodness, Ampusa stab. <laughs> Killing an Ampusa this way will always give magic orbs. Okay. I like that boss that fight wasn't that bad. It's very fast. Having this stun um with the I'm forgetting the name of it now. The Orbros is definitely helpful. Um so how are we supposed to get out? Look at this guy in here, his arms like hanging out of the prison. Can I hop up here? Oh, I see there's like shiny things here. Okay. This entire place is so creepy. We're almost halfway now to how many orbs we need to upgrade the Blades of Chaos all the way. Alright. 
All right, there's a health chest. We don't really need it. Can't open that door. Can't go down that way. Oh, this is crazy. Grapple point down there. Oh, I missed. <laughs> All right, first try. So, oh, makes my stomach kind of hurt looking at that. <laughs> I don't get too like creeped out by stuff like that because, like I said, I worked in the ER for many years and I've seen a lot of stuff, but I don't know. Something about this place is very gross. I think it's the mix of bugs and stuff coming out of holes and. I don't do well with that stuff. There was like a repair thing here, no? Or was that, I'm guessing that was just for the chest. Okay, nothing in the corners. Wait, there's a chest over here. Can I get to it by this way? No. Martyr's chamber. Oh my gosh, look at that guy in there. Oh, look at these people. Oh, what a terrible death everyone in here has had. Yikes. Wow. Okay. Jeez. Oh. They're all just like a bunch of torture machines. Oh, we can pick up his body and use it for something. Okay. Oh, the people on the turntable getting burned. Jeez. All right. Okay. What's this? This is horrible. All right, I see. So once I release him, that just goes straight back down. So what is this little thing here? I guess just to grab it. I thought maybe there was a note on the ground. What does that do? All right, so let's put his body on this pressure plate and then see what happens when we grab him. Could we put it in there? 
Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. I don't like this room. I don't like this puzzle. I just want to make it stop. <laughs> okay. Let me go see what's in here real quick. What is this? Oh. Can we stop zooming into that guy? So what was the point of the pressure plate? I don't understand. Oh, to get the chest. Oh, okay. I see. So this is, wait, what is this for? I think I might have messed up the puzzle because now that's stuck there. No, because the exit's that way. So we have to be able to get over there. Okay. So I think we're supposed to probably take him with us because this whole entire section goes up. So we'll take him with us. We'll put him over here and do the same thing. And then we'll drop him down onto the pressure plate. There we go. <laughs> okay. Makes sense. Okay, let's get out of this horrible room. <laughs> Record from the scribe. The wrath of the sisters is relentless. They seek a white-skinned warrior. The fist of Ares must be returned to his master. The oath must be kept. I think he's talking about us. Oh, there's a ladder over here. What does the ladder go to? I need to find out. Was that the ladder that we came in here from? Oh, no. Okay. with something else because normally with these type of of puzzles they have some more chests for you to open somewhere sneakily um but i guess this one isn't the same we don't need that chest actually i just thought it was interesting that it like panned over to this way and there's like spikes in the door but that's okay let's just keep going will definitely have to go into the record. Record. Must record. Must record. Uh, you're the spot and that Orcos talked about, aren't you? Definitely need to get this down. Definitely need to get this down. What do you know of the Oath Keeper? I know he paid for what he's done. <laughs> they say he was the first marked one. But his father didn't like the way he turned out. I know. I was the first man to be put here by the Furies. See? I've been keeping a record! Orkos was born here. Then his mothers, they... They became... They, they used to be fair. Harsh, but fair. Had something to do with Ares, I imagine. The way they treated him. Son. That is no reason to betray your own. Betrayed his own? Sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> but he did it because of you. I did not ask for his help. <laughs> but you received it nonetheless. 
didn't you, Spartan? <laughs> this will make a wonderful addition to the record. Lots of juicy lore about why things unfolded the way that they did for Kratos. He was the first mortal imprisoned by the Furies for breaking a blood oath. To keep a grip on his sanity, he was written meticulous. He has written meticulous records of the sisters and their schemes. The first mortal. I thought the first mortal was Hecatonkeres, the scribe of Hecatonkeres. He was the first mortal. So this is just the scribe of Hecatonkeres. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. Oh, we're back in this room again. I was trying to take down some of them before um, I could focus on her, but she's really giving me a tough time. Get out of that. Okay, stun her. No, I missed. Unfortunate. Oh, I forgot about the mini game. Stoned! Okay. I forgot about the mini game with the big bosses. one of my least favorite takedowns. I've seen a lot of nasty takedowns. There's something about like splitting her in half. <laughs> That's just awful. 
Okay, let's definitely get this health chest. For sure. Got a okay. Is there anything over here? No? Okay. I think we made it to the door now. Is this the one that was in the hand? Oh no, it's right there. Okay, nice. All right, everyone, I'm gonna stop here for the day in this very moving camera angly area. So I'll try to keep it short and sweet because this was the best stopping place I could find. But wow, there was a lot of lore that dropped today about Kratos' past with Ares, why he was chosen, and I really want to go back and watch that cutscene with Orcos. So thank you guys for joining me on another episode. I can't wait to hop in and see what is next in this crazy ride that Kratos is on, and I will see you all then. Bye, everyone.